Hello and welcome to Dark Side Scenics. In this video I'll be running through three techniques I've used to model flowers. Broken down into sections, part one will be individual flowers, part two will be static grass tufts, and then part three will be meadow grass. I have a variety of different hues from companies like Woodland Scenics and WWS, but I've also made them from wax crayons. Freezing the crayons first seems to help in breaking them down into powder. The first step is to run the crayon through a pencil sharpener. Then it's just a case of crumbling it between your fingers until you get it as fine as possible. Finally, you run the crayon through a sieve. Obviously the size of the sieve depends on the scale you're working in. I usually need a finer powder, so I'm running it through a smaller sieve. For the stems of the individual flowers, I'm using Woodland Scenics Field Grass. I take out a few strands at a time and then cut off the uneven ends. The ends are then dipped in scenic glue and then rolled between my fingers to make sure all of the strands are in the glue. The same process is used on the other end. This is a non-stick oven tray so I can just leave it there to dry. I try to make these in large batches. The length of the stem obviously depends on the type of flowers you're making. These are usually left to dry overnight and then gently scraped off the tray in the morning. I then just cut them in half ready for gluing and colour. The glue is used quite far down the stem on these because I'm trying to create foxgloves. This is one of the wax crown mixes I made earlier. The bases of these flowers will be hidden by the hedgerow, so I'm just using a small amount of scenic glue to put them in place. I'm just gluing the tips of these stems because I only want the flowers on that part. Although I'm dipping these into the pot, it's sometimes better to lay them out on board so you have more control over the amount of flowers that stick. For the scale I'm working in, these flowers are quite large, which is why I bury them into the scene. I'm attaching them with a small amount of scenic glue, and for any white plaster that's showing, I just use a small amount of green scatter. There are lots of videos on static grass tufts on YouTube. One way is to add some basing glue to a board and then use the static grass applicator.
Another way is to add some greaseproof paper to a board and then fix it down with some masking tape. As before, the basing glue is spread out over the board. Before switching it on, just add some static grass to the WWS Pro Grass Box. Clip the box wire to the board, turn on the box and then hover the board slightly above the box. When the tufts have dried, you can add some glue ready for the colour. It's just a case of sprinkling over colour of your choice and then when it's dry, shake off the excess. For these tufts, I'm scraping them up and using a slightly different method. These tufts are quite messy, so I'm just tidying them up with a pair of scissors. As mentioned earlier, you can spread the hue out in a thin layer to avoid large clumps. Again, the tufts are tipped with glue before being dipped into the colour. These lavender plants were used on a recent walled garden diorama. One of the quickest and easiest ways to add flowers is to use layering spray on an existing scene and then sprinkle some flowers over the top. The disadvantage of this method is that the flowers will stick to everything rather than just the tips of the grass. Another option is to use a paintbrush to glide over the top of the grass so only the tips get glued. Then you can just sprinkle on some different colours. When the flowers are glued onto the tips then you can usually just hoover up the excess. I hope the tips in this video were useful. If it's of interest please subscribe to the channel to see more videos. Thanks for watching.